Hey y'all, good morning, hold on. Hey y'all, good morning. Today is Sunday, February 1st, 14th. So happy Valentine's Day. And I am just tidying up the house a little bit, about to put on a load of clothes. Um, we're bracing for a winter storm here in Texas. Now y'all know, we Southerners do not deal with the snow very often. Let me rephrase because I think North Texas gets snow, but us here by the coast, not at all prepared for a snowstorm. But we're doing the best we can. So my mom went to go get some groceries. My niece is still asleep, so I'm here with her. And I'd love to go on the patio with, with my niece or even if we take her home before it happens. And I'd love to see some snow. But I don't want to be without power to see snow. <laughs> so I just want to wash my clothes. I prefer my stuff be clean. I need to wipe down my desk. I want to sort these cookie orders. Let me wash my, brush my teeth first. I can't function. My mouth feeling nasty like this. All right, I have brushed my teeth. Now I am going to wash these few little dishes in the kitchen so our sink can be clean. And please let this be the right switch. Okay, Whew, perfect. I have some vases from flowers and then my cups and then that. So not much, but I wanna go ahead and get it clean. And for those of you that are wondering why it's dripping, like I said, it's 30 degrees outside, 35. Freezing temperature is 32. So they asked us to keep our faucets dripping. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, let's wash these dishes. Keep the sink is clean. That's my mama's stuff on the counter. I'm not gonna even touch it because I don't know what goes with what. I think I need to wash my niece's cup out, put some more fresh juice in there for her. We trying to flush her system. She seems to have a cold. Voila. I filled my cup up while we were at it. So I just put this in the refrigerator for when I am thirsty later. And then she'll have this so that I don't have to get out of my bed whenever she wakes up and wants some juice. But knowing her, I probably still have to get up because she'll want some breakfast, some oatmeal, so. All right, so wow. I don't know why the flash came on, but uh, anyway, I packed up my aunt's and cousin's cookies in here. They literally had a box of their own. Then I gave my aunt and uncle their cookies, and then my aunt and her roommate their cookies in their bags. Now, when they will actually get them, <laughs> not exactly sure, but they're packed up and ready for them. So I'm gonna put these in the living room. And then these are my cookies. And I already gave my mom hers and one of my other aunts hers. So now it is time to tackle the job that is my room. All right, y'all, we just gonna ignore that stuff at the edge of my desk because I need to grease my, well, oil my scalp because it is dry, it's dry, dry. And then there's just some lip oil, my lotion, and my glasses. But I am currently reading Girl, Girl, Girl. I post a picture of it. And I'm not exactly sure, like, if this is supposed to be a memoir or, I mean, it's an interesting read. I keep reading. I'm on page 75 out of, like, two, 
like 240. So, talking about what it means to be a black woman, I guess, but I don't know. I'm feeling kind of detached because um, even though the author is a black American woman, she's an expat. So she's living in London and she's given the comparison, I guess, between um, intersectionality and being a black person, a black woman in America versus being a black American woman in London. Like I guess I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to be about or what I'm supposed to be able to take out of it, but it's keeping me reading. It's keeping me interested. So I'm just going to continue to read it and hopefully take a nap because I'm a little tired. So I'll take me a little nap and wake up, post the work for my kid or get it scheduled to post for my students for Tuesday morning. And then go from there. We got snow, not very much, but we got some. Thank you. 